Welcome back to part 2 of this video tutorial explaining the fine tuning features of JetTech Max and a detailed adjustment of JetTech Motorsports dynamic software simulation model. As we left part 1 of this video tutorial we had calibrated the software to match a senior Rotax carburetor and engine combination. If your son or daughter races in another class you can of course program any one of these buttons to a different calibration model. Of course were you to run in say senior and you had another engine available to you you can of course program any of the other buttons to match that particular carburetor and engine combination. The software of course retains these values so therefore provided the correct preset has been selected your optimum jetting will always be displayed by the software following entering of the current weather conditions. For the more experienced tuner or possibly say the carter who has exhaust gas temperature or lambda sensor data logging Let's quickly go on to explain JetTech Flowbench. These buttons cycle the software to, in this case, a higher air density, and if you press this red button, to a lower air density. The air density achieved is indicated by this bar. So if we first press the higher air density, you will note that the density indicator is going up and the jetting to cope with a higher air density has correspondingly risen. Now if we reset and cycle to a lower air density the same scenario will exist. The air density has reduced and the predicted needle clip and jet has also reduced. Reset we come back to the starting air density. Now the starting air density is the air density calculated by your weather inputs. So a typical way to use JetTech Flowbench would be to look at your past weather records and let's say a typical average temperature for your location is 12. Humidity normally around say the 40% mark and a typical pressure of around say a thousand millibars or of course a thousand millibars would be 29.53 inches of mercury. Now let's imagine that these are typical weather conditions for your track. Open floor bench, cycle higher first and you can see the needle clip position and main jet change, reset and then cycle lower. Again, you can adjust the rate of change by adjusting these sliders. So let's reset and demonstrate a radical maneuver. Let's move the, both the needle clip and the main jet fully over to minus 20 and repeat the same exercise. Now watch these needle clip and main jet indicator bars. They haven't moved at all. Reset, cycle lower. Again, they haven't moved. Of course, were we to move to say minus 10, then they will now move visibly, but much more slowly than at zero. Reset and lower. As you can see, JetTech Flowbench is a very powerful adjustment feature. 
and radically or can radically change JetTech's internal dynamic simulation model. It could of course, if not used correctly, sufficiently alter the dynamic simulation model that it would become inaccurate. These situations of course are only likely to develop poor information or poor experience is relied on. If a user ever finds himself or herself in these types of situations then the easy answer is simply return to zero close flow bench and start to build sensible data through performance related racing. So in summary and to conclude part two of the JetTech Max fine tuning tutorial you can use Flowbench to radically alter the dynamic simulation model therefore it must be used with caution and in 99.9% .9 of cases it does not need to be used at all. JetTech Flowbench is an addition and must always be used with caution. You can fine tune any of these preset buttons to match any carburetor and engine requirement. Software will then save these adjustments so each time you open the software you simply select your preset, enter the weather and the optimum needle clip and main jet will be displayed. So in summary use Flowbench where necessary use with caution and you will find JetTech Max provides many years of competitive racing. The beauty of the system is it allows you to forget about jetting and get straight down to fine tuning your chassis to win those races. Thank you for your time and that concludes part 2 of JetTech Max fine tuning.